Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here and welcome to another Retroid Pocket 4 Pro video. As you see, uh, apart from the quick unboxing first impressions video that I've done a while ago, I haven't had a chance to share some gameplay videos on my Retroid Pocket 4 Pro and uh, this has been an awesome device. Today I'm going to share with you some gameplay and I have to tell you that the RP4 Pro is a great device. It has all the bells and whistles you need in a pocketable device. I've been having lots of fun with it and this has been one of my favorite Android handhelds. Of course, before I share some gameplay with you, I'll go through some tips and information, you know, on which front end I'm using, game files, how to configure your controllers, the emulators, you know, these are the regular things you need to go through before you start gaming. As you see on my device, I'm using Daijisho front end. This has been one of my favorite front ends that I use on all my Android handhelds. As you see here, these are the game systems. And I think Daijisho has lots of cool artwork and posters. And it's easy to navigate as well. As you see here, all my favorite systems. I have about 40 game systems on my RP4 Pro. PSP, PS2, PS1, and so on, so forth. Okay, so this is a quick showcase. And of course, if you would like to know how to set up Daijisho as your front end, you can go to my RP3 Plus or Odin2 videos, because they are the same Android devices, and you can check out those videos on how to set up and install Daijisho on your RP4 or RP4 Pro. Okay, so this is the front end I'm using. So today, as I said, I'll be sharing with you some Wii games emulation gameplay to see how the Dimensity 1100 chipset on this device is handling, you know, Wii uh, games. Uh, first of all, let me tell you that the version that comes pre-installed on your device, the, the Dolphin emulator version, might be outdated. So I'll try to um, update it from Play Store, it didn't work out. Therefore, I went to the Dolphin Emulator website. I'll include everything in the video description. Go there, scroll down to the download section where you'll find developer versions and choose their recent edition, which will be normally on top. On top. Don't worry, I'll include everything in the video description. So once you go to your app section you will see Dolphin Emulator. This is the emulator that I use for uh, Wii games and of course as usual you have to put your games here first before loading them from Daijisho. So you simply go to add games which I already did here and then you choose your micro SD card or your internal storage and then once your game ROM files are here you just say use this folder. Once you do that, all your games will be loaded to the emulator. So, uh, what you also need to do is to configure your controllers. So you go to the uh, gear le uh, logo here, and as you see, we input, and then you go also click on the gear logo here, and then of course you scroll down and then you've configured the buttons, the simulation, the nunchuck, the extension. I'm using classic here, but you can also choose non nunchuck, you know, whatever uh, controllers or extensions the game needs. But I'm going with classic, as you see. And then you can configure the rumble, you know, whatever you, you are, that would be your preference. And after you finish configuring your game controllers, you can go to Profiles and save the controller profile, as you see here. And after you do that, 
you can long click on any game so let's say for example need for speed carbon you long click on it edit game setting and then from here you go to Wii input I'm sorry one sec just a sec let me try again so you long hold on a game edit game setting we input there should be the profile here yeah see it's the nunchuck you can change the profile as your preference okay so once you configure your buttons and game settings you will be ready to go and then you can directly launch the Wii games from Daijisho. And of course make sure that your emulator here is set up to the Dolphin emulator. And of course you also know that you can also add your game ROMs on Daijisho. Everything will be in that video that I provided for the RP3 Plus and Odin 2. It's very simple, you just click on paths, you know, you just add more and then finish and then all your artwork will be added as well. So these are a couple of my favorite Wii games that I have here. It's worth mentioning that for my Wii games I'm using WBFS file types for my game ROMs. They work very very well and I had no problems since then. A couple of my racing games, a couple of uh, RPG games, Prince of Persia, Spider-Man. So I can show you some samples of how the RP4 is handling Wii games. Okay guys, let's start some gameplay. Okay, let's try some uh, Wii games. One of my favorite shooting games is the Call of Duty series. Let's try uh, Black Ops. This is not an easy game to emulate. Let's see how it will run on the RP4 Pro. Let's go. They said it was Cuba. What happened in Cuba? I think it's running well.
I think the game was running very, very well. I didn't expect Call of Duty Black Ops to run well on the 11, uh, Dimensity 1100, but it looks like the RP4 Pro is handling Wii games very well. Cool. Okay, guys, I think that would be for today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And always remember, we don't stop gaming because we grow old. We grow old because we stop gaming.